in this lesson, we'll be talking about selectors. I am a Santa Patrick Romodo, and I'll be your facilitator for this lesson. In our previous videos, we did talk brief about these type of selectors that we do have. We'll try going a bit deeper in this video. Okay, so let's begin. As I said, we're talking about selectors and the first type of selector is also called a type or element selector. A type or element selector. And this type of selector is, it head word explains what it does or what it is. What it is. So what is a type or an element selector? This is basically a selector which uses the element inside of your HTML file. So for instance, you might be having this element inside of your HTML files. For the sake of time, I would like to write the names of the elements. I wouldn't be able to write the attacks and other stuff. So for instance, inside of your HTML element, HTML document you might be having something like h1 element you might be having h2 element you might be having h3 element you might be having h4 element you might be having h5 element you might be having h6 element all of these elements are just used to I mean they are all used for heading and I'm sure you know of this already okay so uh, these are some of the elements that you might be having then automatically you might be having a paragraph element you might be having a paragraph element in your HTML document okay so a paragraph element then you might also be having maybe a div element a div element you might be having a div element please let me clean this and write it well. You might be having a div element. D, okay, thank you. So you might be having a div element. If you decided or you might be having table element as well. Table element as well. And with table elements, you might be having TR. You might be having TR, you might be having TD, you might be having TH. These are some of the basic elements that we use in our tables whenever we are trying to insert a table inside of our file. Inside of our file. So TR is for rows, TD is for let's say whatever that you write inside of it th is for the headings so that's basically what a table element constitutes if you have a list you might be having ol element if it is ordered or ul if it is unordered then you might be having li also in there if let's say you come by chance you might be having the form element form element please then the form element has its own child element, which we'll talk about in a later video. A later video. Maybe you might be using the EM, the emphasis element, or you might be using the strong element. So these are the elements that you might be having in your HTML document, in your HTML document. Now, so whatever that we have up there is in our hot HTML document. In CSS, in CSS, let me use this color. In CSS, how do you call these files so that you are able to apply styles to them or change certain properties that they do contain, that they do contain. So it is in CSS. So that's what this selector does i hope you remember in our basic video of css we did talk of we did talk of selectors 
and we did talk of rule set let me be specific we did talk of rule set and we said that rule set constitute a selector a curly braces pair of curly braces then you have your declaration we did talk about that so if you don't understand i will advise you go back and watch those videos for a better understanding okay so now let's move on so let's say in my css i would want to apply changes to my h1 element i would just have to call the h1 element get open curly braces and then closing curly braces then my declaration will have to go in between these curly braces i hope that's fine with you let's take it a bit further okay so let me rewrite it here we'll have your h1 element maybe that's what you would want to apply your styles h1 element sorry let me bring this h1 element a bit down yeah okay so your h1 element fine then your declaration which can be color that's basic then you set it to maybe red then you you close it so that's it this is what we call what a type selector this h1 element is what we call the type selector this is what we call the declaration and this is what a pair of calibrations and we call this i don't want to go over it if you don't understand anything here with this with the color and other stuff i will advise you go back to our previous videos and watch for a better understanding and watch for a better understanding okay so that one be said we can move on so we are saying that the h1 here is what we call the type selector if for instance i would like to apply changes to my paragraph element i will have to call it give it open and closing calibrations sorry open and closing calibrations then my declaration goes inside of that my declaration goes inside of that okay okay you should know that the elements or the selectors are always in small letters they are always in small letters this brings us to the end of this lesson i hope you do understand 